who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread? And your labour on what does not satisfy? Listen. Listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the richest affair. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a ruler and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendour. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts than your thoughts. Well, welcome again, my friends, to another Lenten Reflection video. This week, I decided to have us hear a reading from the prophet Isaiah. And I'm really glad that Johnny has been able to read it for us. It's actually one of my favorite passages from the prophet Isaiah. It's so rich and full, and it really gives me this profound sense that God wants you and I to experience life and to experience it the full. Now you might be thinking, like, isn't it a little early in Lent to be talking about comfort, ease, and compassion? 
I don't think so. I think, and I've mentioned this before, I often think we have a misunderstanding of what Lent is about. For many of us, we conceive Lent as a time in the year when we're supposed to be feeling down, when we're supposed to be feeling bad. In fact, I had some friends years ago one time say to me that we really shouldn't be laughing a lot during Lent, but that's not really what Lent is about. As I said in the beginning, Lent is spring. It's a time when new life comes about from the dead, and that's what we're really celebrating. And this reading, I think, speaks to it so well. Come to the waters, all you who are thirsty. Come to me and drink. Be nourished. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Trust in him. Find God, your source and comfort. This week I want to ask you, and I want you to think a little bit about this. Where do you find your source of joy? What provides you joy? And by joy here, I don't mean just a momentary, momentary happiness, but something that gives you deep joy, deep happiness. For me, I will say it's in relationships oftentimes, relationships with my family, those deep moments where we connect with each other. It's in moments where I'm with friends, had a wonderful meal, and we're talking with each other, and we're, we're just connecting on a very profound level. It's in moments like that that I just, I find incredible nourishment and strength. At other times for me, it's when I'm in nature, to be very honest. I love sometimes going hiking or for long walks and being in wilderness and just finding an utter peace and beauty. The other day I thought of this, I was walking along and I heard some birds chirping and it was ever so delightful. That gave me deep joy. What gives you deep joy? What makes your heart glad? What makes you rejoice in your life? Think about that. And the reason why I say that is it's in moments like that that we encounter God. And it's moments like that that God wants you and I to experience. The point of Lent is to take away all that prevents us from entering into deep and loving relationships with God and with each other. All that prevents us from experiencing the fullness of life that God yearns and desires for you and I to have. Come to me, God says to us. Come and I will give you drink. Come to me, I will give you joy. What gives you that joy? Go to that because it's in that that God is calling you, that God is drawing you closer and closer to God's self. And as we're now roughly about the halfway point of our Lenten season, renew your commitment to remove all those things that prevent you from living life to the full, prevent you from experiencing great and deep joy. My friends, I want you to experience that joy and that happiness, and so does God. Will you allow God to touch you, to reach out to you, and draw you to himself in those moments of great joy? Amen.